Now I invite Dr. Hala to speak on MRI diagnosis of congenital heart disease. Hala, please. Uh, I will start my speak by giving you an idea about my. Uh, sorry, it's not working. Where I came from, uh, I came from a professor of pediatric cardiology in Egypt. My city is Mansoura, which is not Cairo, the capital. It's, uh, it's north to Cairo. So, sorry. So this is Mansoura. This is the River Nile with two branches. The Mansoura on the eastern branch of the River Nile. And this is Mansoura with the famous bridge at night, at day and at night. And this is a hospital where I work. It's a children's hospital, Mansoura University, 365 beds, so one of the largest children's hospitals in Egypt. And my talk today is going to be about magnetic resonance imaging of uh, congenital heart disease. Uh, the primary tool for evaluation of congenital heart disease is echocardiography, but the absence of ionizing radiation and contrast, ionated contrast agent, makes it uh, very attractive to be used in the congenital or the pediatric age group. Early applications of cardiac MR in children focus on patients in which echocardiography is not uh, able to provide reliable diagnosis. So it primarily focused on uh, patients, post-operative patients or adults with congenital heart disease. But the rapid development makes it more attractive to be used. So in congenital heart disease, what do we want to image? We want to know information about morphology, function, and tissue characterizations and how we are going to do this. About morphology, we'd like to know an idea about the intracardiac structures, wall thickness, anatomical relationships, ventricular dimensions and volumes, and vessels. What about the great vessels and the coronaries and relationship to each other? Pre-operative and post-operative. The function uh, of the heart, of course, wall motion, flow, and valve area. Tissue characterizations, we'd like to know idea about viable uh, tissues, infarctions or scar tissues, if there's any fatty infiltrations and in arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. And how we are going to do these different techniques in cardiac MR. So to know about morphologic information, the thin slice T1 weighted black blood images and contrast enhanced three-dimensional MR and geography. In tissue motions, we're using the CINI state, uh, CINI, steady state free precision or the white blood technique. And functional information, we use the velocity encoded MRI technique. So this is a four chamber uh, view of the heart. This is a normal heart which, with a normal motions, and this is a blood, blood, uh, blood, uh, the white blood technique in which we see the heart, the blood is flowing beautifully throughout uh, the chambers, no regurgitation, no stenosis. And even we can know the structure, we can see the three cusped aortic valve. And we can see the bicuspid aortic valve with its regurgitant antistenotic uh, lesion. And we can see the incompetent aortic valve here. Here is the regurg and uh, dilated ascending aorta. And this is an incompetent pulmonary valve. And this is a new technique with a percutaneous implantation of a pulmonary valve, which is a melody valve. And we can even see the intracardiac structures like the papillary muscle, which is large. This is single papillary muscle and the other one is two papillary muscle. And we can even see the intracardiac shunts like ASD, quantificate the lesions, know the borders before sending the patient to the cath lab for uh, ASD closure. And here is a left ventricular uh, to right ventricular shunt VSD, the same information we can have it. The hokum, which this is an obstruction to the left ventricular outflow tract, or uh, there is a mid-cavity obstruction or a concentric left ventricular hypertrophy. This is the left ventricular run compaction, which Dr. Vijaya had shown beautifully yesterday, which is the ratio between the compacted and the non-compacted area is abnormal, and, here, uh, and the blood flow through the islands uh, of uh, the non-compacted area. And here is the uh, central liver with dextrocardia and the right lung is not visualized. And even transposition of great vessels following uh, Leconte maneuver in which the pulmonary artery has to be pulled uh, anteriorly. We have to see the pulmonary arteries if there is any peripheral stenosis. 
Here is a patient with congested uh, with heart failure and there is a dilated IVC with dry gas regurgitation detected in the IVC. Also calculations of the uh, volumes, the right ventricular volume and the left ventricular volume and now it, the MR is a gold standard for calculation of the right ventricular uh, volume and we are doing uh, tracing the endocardium and the pericardium and we do certain calculations to de uh, depict the uh, ventricular volume. This is another method of calculating uh, the gradients, the function of the vessels in the heart. So uh, whenever it goes toward the head, so it's blood, it's white, and away from the head, it's black. And this is a bicuspid aortic valve on fast. This is a patient with uh, coarctation of aorta. This is an adult patient in which we couldn't see the whole morphology of the aortic arch, so we send it for MR in which you see here beautifully the coarctation of the aorta. These patients have a long tubular hypoplasia, so we couldn't take it to the cast lab. This should, should be sent for surgery. And this patient with aneurysm following balloon angioplasty. And we use also MR to calculate the gradient across the coarctations or the gradients over the flow over the collaterals. Here's the patient's pulmonary arteries in which we can beautifully see that there's no pulmonary artery and there is certain large uh, major aortic pulmonary collaterals that uh, supply the lungs. This is a patient which diagnosed echocardiography by as double aortic arch. Here are the, the two aortic arch and we send it for MR for confirmation of the diagnosis before sending to surgery. And this is a nice example of how MR beautifully demonstrated the patient. This is a 10 years old boy who presented to the outpatient clinic by history of dyspnea and the tachypnea. And we do, did an uh, echo and we, send, we see this uh, pericardial effusion and a huge space which connected to the uh, left ventricle with blood flow through it. So this is the left ventricle in cross sections and this is the uh, abnormal space connected to it and the pericardial effusion. So we diagnosed this as a traumatic left ventricular aneurysm because there was a history, uh, a car accident two months before presentation to the outpatient clinic. And we did an MR which you beautifully see so the, uh, the left ventricular aneurysm connected to the left ventricle and we send the patient uh, for surgery. So in conclusion, magnetic resonance Imaging is a powerful tool for complete characterization of congenital heart disease. Several techniques have been used to demonstrate the intracardiac and the extracardiac uh, structures, but the echocardiography will remain the primary tool for screening and for diagnosing, and we are sending the patient for MR for as a complementary to answer certain questions in which the echo couldn't answer uh, as an adult with congenital heart disease or a post-operative uh, cardiac patient. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, Hala. That was a very, very excellent presentation of, in a very short time. And your pictures looked amazing and very good. How do you think it is useful in very small children where anesthesia may be required compared to this thing? And the cost-wise, what's the difference between the echo and uh, MR? Yes. Uh, um, in very small children, yeah, they are usually echocardiography, uh, nice echocardiographic pictures and the extracardiac structures can be shown beautifully, but sometimes we need to define the whole extracardiac structure. So uh, we, anest we anesthetize our patients, we have a contrast, uh, we have an MR compatible anesthetized machines. And our anesthetists to usually do the caster for us, those are the guys who went to the main hospital to do uh, the MR uh, and study the small children, the small cyanotic children for MR. Please come.